being the best and new version of ourselves. Uh, <coughs> being the best. Why is my voice? This is why I have water. This is why I have water. But becoming the best version of yourself that you can for this year and for all the years that are ahead for you. I'm just gonna be giving you tips, so make sure you stay tuned. First and most important tip that I'm gonna give you is just get up and stay motivated. Don't be on TikTok all day. Cause me, I was just on TikTok right now. One of my videos, I was like, I was taking a break on social media. I went back on TikTok apparently. Cause I guess I missed the app a little bit. But I finally realized I was on TikTok for a little bit too long. I was like, yeah, let me get up and do something productive real quick. If you don't have motivation, I would, if I didn't have motivation to like get up and film a video, I would just be on TikTok all day doing nothing. Get off social media for a little bit and do something else that's gonna help you become a new version of yourself or become stronger or help people, inspire people. That's gonna help yourself and maybe others. I understand chilling on your phone and being on it for a little bit is good. If you don't motivate yourself, you won't get what you want done to be done. Cause nobody's gonna do your work for you. It's only your work. Like, see me filming this video right now. Nobody's gonna film this video for me. That's what I'm doing it for myself. So I needed to motivate myself, get up, film this video so I can inspire other people and I can help myself. I'm helping myself right now by helping you guys and I'm giving you advice. I love giving you guys advice. I love helping people out. If I didn't have the motivation to do so, I wouldn't be here right now. So like motivation is really important because it helps get you to your goals and whatever you want to do. I'm talking fast right now because my battery's gonna die soon and I have to charge it. <clears throat> I wasn't prepared for this video y'all, but um, I'm just getting my words out. But really, if you do not have motivation, you're not gonna get where you want to be. You have to realize there's not gonna be people to always help you, motivate you to get up, do what you want to do. You cannot depend on people all the time. You have to depend on yourself. Train yourself to keep going and don't stop. Like, honestly, that's what I be telling myself sometimes. I be telling myself this all the time, actually, not sometimes. And you should be telling yourself too. Like, tell yourself you gotta stay motivated. You gotta do this. Because if you don't keep walking, you're not, you're not gonna get where you want to. Nobody's gonna do that for you except yourself. Yo, I'm a motivational speaker. No, really. Okay, anyways, let me move on to the next. Second tip for glowing up for the new year, resetting yourself, being better, is removing bad people that are in your life that are just bringing you down all the time. And I'll be telling you guys this, just remove toxic people, distance yourself from them, because they're not good for you at all. Removing bad people out of your life, because all bad people and toxic people do is just bring drain your energy and you have good energy in yourself right now and if you're just giving that away to people who do not deserve it at all you're just hurting yourself more so that's why it's important to really just garbage throw them in the garbage throw bad people into the garbage who do not deserve your time your effort your attention all that throw them away all that attention all that stuff all that work goes to yourself Mainly, mainly to yourself first because other people sometimes will not help you. They won't help you as much as you want them to help you because the only person that you can 100% depend on is yourself. That's what it's called being an independent person. Dude, I'm trying to work on myself, be better. Every day, I try, I try. Even as long as you're trying to be better, then that's good because shoot, if you don't try, you're not gonna be getting anywhere. So it's better you just try, try first, and then you could actually start stepping up the staircase, you know? But yeah, remove all the bad people. If you surround yourself around all these bad people all the time, you're around them, you're around their energy. Toxic people have this dark energy, and if you waste your energy on that, on them, you'll become like them. This is why like, I distance myself from some people that I feel like an off vibe from. If your vibe is not it, I'm just not around you. I'm not gonna be around you at all. I would rather put all my energy into myself than other people who do not deserve it, you know? So that's what you guys should be doing too in order to, you want to, in order to be a better version of yourself. Be still, be calm, chill. Don't be too pressured or stressed about anything that most likely does not matter. If you do not eat your yogurt like this, what are you doing? I got a little bit on my shirt. Sorry I cut the clip short, but I had to like do stuff. And it's currently the next day that I'm filming, so don't mind that. Third tip to this reset glow up 2023 thing is have basically a mini glow up. Like make yourself look better, add some adjustments to yourself, do your hair different, I have a different hairstyle, cut it diet if you're a girl doing different makeup look try to do your nails different try to dress nice just look a little bit more upgraded than how you would usually look because honestly i think the whole point of looking different and looking better most of the time after i look 
better, I most likely feel better about myself. My confidence increases, my self-esteem increases. Honestly, that's just me, but you could feel different because some people will still feel the same no matter how they look. I don't know about you, but y'all, if you feel like that, you need to work on your confidence a lot more. But I'm just saying, uh, adding some adjustments to yourself will help a little bit or a lot of bit. I don't know. It could be a major change or a minor change. Just try to look a little bit more better. Hopefully that helps, but I don't know. I, I just I just know from my perspective, not yours. But fourth thing that you can do to glow up and better yourself is to start start putting your focus more into journaling. If you have never journaled before, or if you are journaling or you don't do it as much, it helps a lot with a lot. With journaling, you could just do whatever because it's basically your own diary. Basically, when you journal, you write down your goals, aspirations, you write down what you're grateful for, whatever is bothering you during the day, or if you had a good day, write about it. It's a lot of stuff you could do in journaling. And it's just like when you write stuff down more, it helps with your emotions. I don't know. I feel like it regulates your emotions a lot. Sometimes your girl has her emotions all over the place. And when I journal and write down how I'm feeling or what I'm grateful for or what goals I want to achieve, I just feel so much better and I don't know if it's just me but I feel like it could be you too that's why I say journaling more maybe even every day will help you a lot to understand yourself which is something that you also need to do for this type of glow up mentally and emotionally honestly that will be a step to help you a lot you don't even have to write a lot I don't even be wanting to write a lot but I somehow end up writing a whole page journaling is just something that helps boost your creativity it makes your mood shift to a good mood it comes with a lot of benefits for you so i really suggest and recommend that you do it next tip number five i think start working on your patience and start being grateful i always say this is being grateful is important gratitude leads you to more blessings more blessings lead you to more happiness so you should understand the order this is why i always say gratitude it's important like how are you not grateful in 2023 like, there's a lot to be grateful for animals food water some animals are going extinct right now and I'm looking out the window, I'm looking at some birds. It looks so peaceful. Like I'm I'm grateful for the birds that are outside right now. Like they just chilling there. But anyways, learn to practice your patience and being grateful for stuff. It also helps to develop your personality. Say like patience is very important because if you're not patient, nobody's gonna nobody likes an impatient person. And especially we're going to a new year. I mean, we're already in the new year. What am I saying? um especially since we're in 2023 already the more patient that you are is the more calm you will be because impatient people are just very fidgety irritated easily and angered and all that stuff but when you are patient for everything you will understand like okay this will come to me but it will just take time you have to realize that you will get what you want but it will just take time and that could be happiness it could be food money love etc you just have to be very patient and work on yourself and that's something that will help for you and your personality whatever and next tip is i think number six which is trying to find your hobby try to find developing a hobby is something that will keep you occupied instead of just sitting around doing nothing and putting all your energy into absolutely nothing meanwhile when you have a hobby you could develop you could put your energy into something that's good for you and that will probably help you in the future or inspire other people this is all on you this is all on you obviously me too because i'm i'm still looking i'm still trying to figure out what my hobbies are i don't have my hobbies straight but right now i'm just in drawing a little bit i'm trying but drawing is a little bit fun for me so that's one of my hobbies i just draw whenever i'm bored or when i have my free time or whatever when i feel like it but getting a hobby is important because it's something that you will put your good energy in and put your time in it will boost your creativity to the max like a lot and it will give you something to do instead of sitting around bored so honestly having a hobby is really good I don't know what hobbies there are because everybody's different. Everybody's their different person. So I can't choose for you. I don't know what you like, but I could give you some suggestions, but I really recommend you Google it. But different hobbies are like sports, drawing, arts, reading, um, um, eating, um, <laughs> walking. I don't know. I'm not the right person to ask for hobbies. So you might have to Google that yourself. Get a hobby for this year. Get a hobby that you could put your time into and that will help you a lot because it could help you in the long run whatever type of hobby that you have that's why it's good to get a hobby okay but 
last tip that I'm gonna give you for this video is please 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 try to go to bed early going to bed early changes everything personality it changes your mood changes your lifestyle changes how you feel for the next day the energy that you have for after you sleep depends on what you're gonna do for the next day or how you're gonna feel or how motivated you are so that's why it's important what time you go to sleep or how much sleep you get but all being said i recommend you go to sleep very early like if you sleep past 12 the sleep is not going to be busting the sleep is not going to hit different the sleep is not going to be good it's like how your body functions when you're sleeping is like the growth cycle thing or something i don't know sleeping before 12 a.m will help you a lot i mean growth stuff so especially if you're really young it doesn't even matter if you're an adult and you're going to sleep as long as you go to sleep earlier you will feel better about a lot of things there's so many benefits about sleep because it will help you live longer bro honestly that's what shocks me the most is like sleeping can like make you live longer like that's crazy and it reduces stress and it makes you feel at peace at peace honestly that is gonna be the last glow up tip that i give you but sleep is very very important so that's why i kind of saved that one for last it's the most important one because without sleep you'll just be a walking zombie and don't rely on coffee i don't even drink coffee myself but like never rely on coffee to keep you energized honestly just sleep get in the bed and sleep but that is officially the end of today's video guys thank you so much for watching don't mind my face i know it's like a little bit greasy so I put that lotion thing again, but thank you for watching this video. I hope you took the tips about glowing up for 2023. You know, I wish you the best. Do not give up about your goals or aspirations or whatever you want to do. Don't just don't give up because if you really want to do it, you wouldn't give up. You wouldn't think about giving up. <laughs> I'm like, who opened my door? It was just the don't give up on what you're most passionate about in your goals and your dreams or whatever. Because I know you got this. I know it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be a bumpy road, honestly. Happiness is not the goal because happiness isn't a destination. It's a part of your journey. It's either you be happy or you won't be happy. Let me stop talking and let me leave because I know you got other stuff to do probably. Bye guys. I'll be back. Thank you for watching. Oh my gosh, I'm done. Ah! I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Y'all don't know how long this took me to film this video. Like... I was stuttering. All right, let me leave.